is that really your shoulders that make all your turn? I mean, it could be, but is that all because of that? If it is, you shouldn't be able to only with your shoulders open, or frontside 180 with your shoulders closed. But in reality, they are possible. This would probably mean that we're missing something, something radical. There can be more than one reason why this problem happens. So I'll talk about some major ones. Hopefully, you will find something useful. If you're watching this content, I assume you're having this problem. You all eat turns in the air, and you have tried literally everything. For example, you are 100% sure that your shoulders are closed and sliding up your front foot straight forward. But this problem persists anyways, and you don't know why. In order to understand what could really cause this problem, let's list up major factors that could cause this problem according to the timeline. Before going into the details though, I highly highly recommend recording yourself since multiple factors could cause this problem at different points in the timeline. So try to diagnose your situation from an objective point of view. Alright, according to the timeline, we will discuss 5 factors in this content. Foot placement Direction of pop Angle of shoulders Weight distribution and direction of slide. I believe factors number 3 and 4 are the most potentially important causes of this problem. So let's talk about them first and return to the rest afterward. Starting from the notorious angle of shoulders. First, I'd like to avoid misunderstanding. Opening shoulders could cause this problem under some conditions, but not always. What's even more important is to understand there are different ways to open shoulders. For example, you might open up your shoulders when you jump up. Or you might only with your shoulders open the whole time. There are different actions that come with different consequences. So let's focus on their differences and see what they do separately. Case number one, open your shoulders when jumping up. You should avoid doing this as it gives horizontal momentum to your board. This case is indicated by your board turning while your board is going up. The horizontal momentum you generate starts turning your board right after your board leaves the ground. So by the time it reaches the highest point of an ollie, you'd have a turn already. In case number 2, doing an ollie with your shoulders open the whole time. Although doing this might make it harder to align your board to the direction you are going, it is not a direct cause of the problem. For example, when you only light, your lower body keeps a distance from your upper body and can absorb the horizontal rotation of your body. A problem happens when you go for a higher ollie and pull up your feet closer to your chest, and your lower body's angle gets closer to your upper body's. If you do this, your body will turn at the peak of your ollie. But in fact, the same thing can be said when you crouch down. The angles of your upper and lower bodies get closer to each other when you crouch down. This means your body spontaneously decides its acceptable angles. All you have to do is to keep the angle and jump up. And you don't need to have your shoulders completely parallel to your board, as the angle of your shoulders when you crouch down is an angle your body can accept. Okay, let's move on to the next item, the weight distribution. I believe this is the most underestimated yet fundamentally important factor that could cause this problem. When your weight is on the heel side after popping down the tail, your body pulls your front foot back under it so that it can support its weight before reaching the ground. And this could be why your board turns even when your shoulders are closed. This symptom tends to appear after reaching your ollie's peak as it results from your body trying to support its weight. In order to figure out how to avoid this problem, let's first imagine why your body weight leans on the heel side. We will sort out situations first and talk about solutions after that. Type number one. Your body's center of gravity is on the heel side from the beginning. 
You may do this when you want to avoid landing back on your board, especially when you are not used to the feeling of it. And type number two, Yabari Center of Gravity swings off to the hillside. If you hunch over when you crouch down, Yabari Center of Gravity leans on the toe side at first. But as you extend your back when jumping up, Yabari Center of Gravity moves to the hillside correspondingly. In either case, to prevent these problems, Try to have your body's center of gravity over your board the whole time. An easy way to tell if your body's center of gravity is at the right place or not is by staying low after crouching down. If you can keep moving straight forward, that means the center of gravity is above your board, and if not, you may turn. Adjust your weight distribution depending on the type of symptoms you fall under. Okay, let's say you have your shoulders and weight distribution right. But sometimes, your board still turns. Let's also talk about the remaining factors. So let's go back to the foot placement. Placing your front foot at the right angle to your board may turn your board, especially when your toes are naturally open. As you twist your front toe to place it at the right angle, your front foot tries to return to its original state, which may spin your board in the air. And this problem appears when you're going up as your front foot starts turning as soon as it gets into the air. To avoid this, you may place your front foot in a way that you feel comfortable instead of trying to put it at the right angle. That way, your front foot will not try to twist back to its original state, and you can crouch down more stably. Lastly, direction of pop and direction of slide. Popping or sliding in the wrong direction may also turn your board. If you swing out your back foot like you do in a frontside pop shove it, your board turns. If you slide up your front foot diagonally sideways, your board turns too. So make sure to pop straight down and slide up your front foot parallel to the direction you are going. Also, you should consider these factors in combination with the angle of shoulders. Opening your shoulders too much may indeed direct your slide sideways unintentionally. But you don't need to have your shoulders completely parallel to your board. Your body can accept a certain angle, which you can find by placing your feet where you feel comfortable and crouching down. Try paying attention to other elements too if your board keeps turning even after closing your shoulders. I personally recommend paying close attention to your weight distribution. Although the angle of the shoulders does stand out, the weight distribution matters as much as the angle of the shoulders does. It may require a lot of practice, but leads to so many other tricks. So don't be frustrated and try something else sometimes, and you will get your allies down soon. And that's all for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.